Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We've got more Retro Corner for you today, with more Retro Will. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Will's going to be playing a game that is not that well known around the world. Did you know there was a Sonic fighting game? I did not. I honest to God did Literally. not. The closest I've seen to a Sonic fighting game, again, I'm just going to bring up Sonic, Sonic and Mario Olympics. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Nobody should bring that up. That's, like, <laughs> that's not even a Sonic and Mario game. That's international track and field just with a skin. Uh, pretty much. It's literally it's the mascot. It's, it's mascot's battle. The um, Sonic the Fighters is a fighter game from the mid nineties. It essentially came out between Virtua Fighter One and Virtua Fighter Two mm -hmm. uh, by AM Two Department of Sega, and they it's a low poly, old school beat 'em up game. That's you know uh, it's funny. I'm looking at it. You say it's low poly. I'm looking at this now. I'm thinking you know Papakura. Yeah, you could actually make all these characters in Pepper Curl. Literally, like, the models look like they actually are made out of pe paper. Um, they look they look frighteningly thin. Uh, there's a lot of characters in this that you're not going to know either, but nah. we'll see what you think about them when you get them started up. Let's see Sonic the Fighters rolling, because I'll explain as we go along some of the idiosyncrasies of this game. Here we go. So AM2 were kind of like the, the 3D department of Sega for a long while. They did Virtua Cop, Virtua Fighter, Daytona USA, Sega Rally. No, yeah, Sega Rally. Um, I don't think of any other ones. <laughs> so literally, uh, all the virtual games, like yes. virtual racing as well, okay. that came out by Sega at that point were all done kind of in house by these same guys. Um, <laughs> certain ones. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'll be just. You know, my now. advice is don't play uh, PlayStation VR for about five hours. <laughs> That's a bad idea. If you actually do have, like, seriously, don't do that. Um, Song of the Fighters, uh, literally has, um. An awkward place in history because it didn't ever really get a wide arcade release even outside of Japan. Even in Japan it wasn't that big. But um, uh, over here, the only place I ever played this game, the only place I've ever fucking seen it, was in Sega World in Trocadero in <laughs> London. <laughs> That's a random place. But it's, not even, it literally, it's, it's the only place that you could imagine it would be in. Um, and I played it years, years, years after this game came out. So before Tread, Sega World closed. Um, I actually, it was sitting right next to a Virtua Fighter 3 TV arcade machine Jesus. so after virtual fighter 3 came out mm -hmm. i played this game and it was okay. like it, it's an old ass game it's like somewhere between virtual fighter 1 and 2 whenever it was timeline was out so just checking the uh, screen says should be full should be fine yeah full should be fine right. okay, it's still going to be 4 3 so we'll probably have a bar around the outside just and uh music and audio should be fine. all right um i'm gonna go for arcade arcade baby good old-fashioned arcade mode so um literally to play through it uh what did you do? i went on the arcade all right, I'll just leave everything at the default then. <laughs> Fair enough. I was wondering there what was going on. I was like, why did you go back and do more options? And then I'm assuming that you actually essentially it's like you use dip switches okay, in the arcade okay, machine. Okay. Is it going to do the Sega look sound? Not the Sega look. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, just watch this for a bit. Is that like a shitty Death Star? Yeah, this, remember the Death Star from Sonic CD that you were thinking oh, about? Oh god, not that again. <laughs> uh, but like, look at all the Robotnik robots and you saw Metal Sonic there turned into a fucking airplane and... It's just characters so like, and the tails rocket got ship. Transformers. I mean, what else do they need to rip off to be sued here? Oh well, probably uh, two thousand one space Odyssey to go along with. All right, so you got all of the main characters around here. Bean, Fang, um, the Bear. <laughs> I can't even remember what his name is. There's like a bunch of characters that were made just for this, and ones that were actually like pulled from the rest of the Sonic series as well. Um, well, go into the menu screen. And I'm pretty sure this is like a Oh, good. It's got a time block, so you have to pick somebody as fast as you can. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, so Tails. Sonic Tails. Miles Pryor? Yeah, Miles, I told you Miles Pryor was his name. Miles Tails Pryor. Find the sniper. Keep going quickly. Beam, because you only got nine seconds. Anyway, Bark. You got seven seconds. Bear, it's SBO, Amy. Rascal, Good, Knuckles. Knuckles. I'm going to go for a Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> That's who you're going to go with anyway? I go with automatic. So all of the characters over there, <laughs> Bean, Bark, and Fang, are made just for this or pulled from the... Yeah, you have to fight your own clone in the first match. Great. So there's three buttons in this. There's guard, uh, punch, and kick. You having fun yet? Better if I get control? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I love the rubber physics of the characters in this because like it looks like it's actually like the game's like glitching out, but it's actually designed to do that stretch and skew that the old cartoon characters would have done. <laughs> Stand his toe. Yep. <laughs> Stamp finish. Oh, tails! Tails of ship look like something out of Thunderbirds too. So we got three rip off. <laughs> and I guess you know every boxing ring ever. 
Oh yeah, so um, essentially this game, uh, whenever it came out, there was another game that was actually shown on our playlist that we actually have of Sega Classics, uh, was called Fighting Vipers, which uh, that shares a lot of lineage with this game. It was kind of like, uh, Fighting Vipers was an alternate to Virtua Fighters, where it was kind of like more fanciful characters, and oh, they did an ring in, where you could knock pieces of clothing off your opponent, but you could also knock them out of the ring. Default. <laughs> Excuse me. So in this game, um, you can actually bang people into the wall and try and knock them through the wall so that you can trap people against the walls which is something that you couldn't do in virtual fighter like because playing carpet ring yeah that's a, well, like it's using all the polys for the background um meanwhile virtual fighter decided to go with the ring out method where there was no walls and you can knock your opponent out of the ring for a quick and easy uh win in a fight oh look at that you want a little hard well let me have a fucking hammer yep that's a amy's squeaky hammer is her main weapon of choice in fact, he keeps that squeaky hammer from this all the way through to the Song Adventure series. Uh, I must, have, I must have been. See when he flies around the ring with sidesteps and just does all that sort of stuff? Mm -hmm. And punches? It reminds me of the Flash when he's fighting. Well, I mean, imagine it would be more so with Sonic. It was just like these knuckles, he's red. Yeah. He actually won that one by uh, timeout. Yeah, last time. Imagine only 30 seconds, it's pretty fast. So, Amy Rose, uh, her character design, her clothing in this one is. Uh, Reminiscent of her experience in Sonic CD, and the mallet is something that became a standard Ooh. of her character from this point until Sonic Adventure, where it was actually literally her main weapon, and ever since then, she uses a, a squeaky toy mallet. Cool. <laughs> Two stages clear, now I am going to complete this. I can make, make complete this for the whole fucking video. <laughs> if you go for it, man, if you bring it on. Ah, shit. <laughs> you might want to remember not to actually like block instead of punching at the first three punches of the fight. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, damn. Whoa, well, he is a bear. <laughs> He's probably the, one of the strongest guys you're going to run into. Damn it. Round two. Fight. Whoa. Oh, do you mean that way he's like dodging around? Yeah, like yeah, flash, yeah. Like a flash field behind him? Shit, man. Move. No. The music doesn't feel like quite as intense or interesting as any of the other Sonic series. No. Really. I mean, like, Sonic CD really blew our ear ball balls off. Um, Sonic 1 2 were always like, we love them in classic. I, you know, I really kind of, I really joked myself when I said I can get the end of it. You gonna give it another try? I'm fucking right to <laughs> You've got time, man. You've got time. At this point, I'm just gonna hit random buttons. <laughs> really? No, can you tell? Can you tell? Uh, <laughs> you some awesome moves, can't you? Oh, oh shit, I thought I had him in a DDT or something. <laughs> you know what, if it works, it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. See, the reason why it works is because, like, they actually used to have a system in these old Virtua Fighter games where it said it was learning your moves. And essentially, the more you played the game, the more difficult it was meant to get. So you can actually like turn on and off learning data. So I remember it being specifically in Virtua Fighter 2, getting to the point where if you played it a lot, Jesus, it, it started to learn your rep, your combinations, the rep, thing that you constantly use. So like the fact that you went for a low kick, high kick, and then a spin oh. kick to knock somebody down, it would actually start to that is, for that but, combo. Yep. You just, you just, you just kind of like throwing one of those in there. Yep. <laughs> 37. 47 uh, seconds. Yeah. So, SB with the Comedian, uh, you saw him momentarily whenever we were playing Sonic Generations. Uh, SB with the Comedian is actually from the Chaotic series. The wrong fucking color. <laughs> you what? He's, he's green. He was green in the previous game. No, that's a different character. You're thinking of the Crocodile? No, I'm thinking of the Chameleon. No, this is the no, no, this is a. That wasn't the Chameleon turn of flower. SB with the Chameleon is actually a character from another game. He is not. He's not the villain that you fought. He was in Sonic Generations. He's one of the friends that got uh, sucked away. Yep. He's actually one of the main characters. Him, the crocodile, and the bee were from a game called Chaotix that yeah. they had with Sonic, with Knuckles that was on the 32X. Um, literally, his special thing is is that he could uh, walk up walls and walk up roofs. You know, he, like Knuckles can climb walls with his knuckles. Yeah. SBO just like went, huh, and just climbed his foot to the wall and just walked straight up it. <laughs> hey, one of my favorite characters from the uh, the Chaotix series. Oh yeah, S SBO? 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 SBO, the comedian. SBO. Yeah, quicker than a little. <laughs> oh, knuckles kicking ass. Ah, oh, tails. Can we have tails? I'm snapping your tails off. Get down your goddamn coat, you fucking fucking wow. shitbag. Yeah, that wow. got dark. Didn't that get dark? 
I don't know why I dislike him. You just, it's just the fact that you get dark on all of these, man. I, I, you have a dark soul in you in some way, shape, or form. God damn, Kale's kicking my, kicking my ass. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, well, you deserve it for talking shit about him. That's <laughs> not my fault. These fucking Sonics, we bitch. Suck his cock and all. Wow. Well, that, yeah. Fair yeah, fair yeah. <laughs> I think Teal's is making a point. Be polite to the little kiddo. He does a lot of hard work. He is a genius inventor. Yeah, but still, I bet he wraps, wraps both his furry fucking tails around Sonic sticks and jerks them off during the night. <laughs> it went really dark, didn't it? <laughs> You're gonna put quite a maturity bit on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were we saying? Uh, I said, eat all the dick. <laughs> right. So you want to give us one more try? Yeah, we'll give it one more go. I love having some sort of rave. <laughs> oh, nice uppercut. Oh, wait. Whoa. So he, he, he countered you and then took half your energy bar off you, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah, special no, finish. No. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get, uh, he's gonna take you again. Got you again. So you see him bump up the shield? Don't attack. <laughs> yeah, but no, half the time when I do the... Yeah, you're locked in, do it once you start. I imagine like the controls in this, like, from what I remember, was really, really stiff. Like, you, you'd do something and it would actually be like, you'd get to that point like a few seconds later where you actually like, oh, I did that attack now. Okay. Well, the, the quote Am I queued up the rest of them? <laughs> Why does it go dark? Because you're in a canyon. Uh, and the ball's blocking the Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Stop kick the furry bastard! Not, not Face me. plant! <laughs> Fuck! What are we like for time? Uh, what are we like for time? You've. Uh, are we keeping to our original limits? Like 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, you got one more try. Grand. <laughs> 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 oh, nice dodge. You actually dodged the teal with. <laughs> ah, fuck on. Fuck off. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> He literally went around and kicked your ass. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get drunk tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's all because of Teals. Yep. <laughs> I love to see somebody ask me, like, why are you getting so drunk today? What's, what's wrong with you? Like, a goddamn fox with two Teals. I've seen some things, man. A goddamn fox with two Teals, man. I, 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 I just can't handle it. <laughs> Fuck you, Barry. <laughs> Fuck you, Teals. <laughs> Fuck you, Sonic. This special episode has been brought to you by our patron, Barry. He has actually wanted to see this look on this man's face quite so much. <laughs> so, that has been Sonic the Fighters. Game over, Will. Game over. Fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, that was enjoyable to watch. I mean, this game is actually a fantastic game. It's a very, very short game. It's a very, very limited game in a lot of ways. But um, that was actually super entertaining to watch. If you would like to see us play through this and actually see the ending theme and see the bosses and all the end characters that are available in this, Make sure to hit the subscribe button above. If you want to hear any more stories about Sonic games, make sure to check out the rest of the videos in our series. It'll be peering up over here. There's a lot of series, a lot of games that you might want to hear a lot more about, so make sure to check them out. $5, I will play this game till I break. <laughs> I will stream the whole thing. <laughs> that would be entertaining to watch. Actually, like, I almost I almost might pay, pay you myself to do that one. Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been super entertaining, and this has been Retro Corner here on Past Seashop Skin. Honestly, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and comment, and I will see all you dudes on the next console. Fuck the corner. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>